Hello and welcome to this AC Delco eBit. In this eBit, I'm going to show you how you can use the current user interface pretty much the same as the Classic. Because as you can see, the Classic will be going away at some point. We know a lot of people are concerned about this, but we think you'll really like the new user interface after you see the features it offers. So this video, I'm basically just going to show you how to look up a vehicle. We'll cover other features in other videos. We'll start out by doing it the standard way of picking your year, make, model, engine. And then that'll take you to where you can select your parts. Now I'll back up and show you a different way to find vehicles. You can also put in the 17 characters of the VIN. You can look at previous vehicles. Here it will store the last 13 vehicles you have looked up in case you need to go back and look at one again. Or you can do license plate lookup by selecting the state on the license plate and then the license plate number. And it will populate the vehicle to the VIN. So those are the ways you can look up the vehicle in the classic catalog. Now we'll switch over to the new catalog or the current catalog. Down here, it does look different. Um, somewhat similar though, layout as far as your years and everything. So we can go in and we can do the same thing. We can pick our year, we can pick our mag, our model. And in here, you're not required to pick the engine at this point, because if you're looking for parts such as wiper blades that don't require an engine, we let you skip that step and you can continue on. If you do look for a part later that does require an engine, it will prompt you at that point to pick your engine. Or in here you can even pick your trim model, which will also possibly select the engine depending on what engine is available which trim. So you can do a combination of clicking on these and or typing up here. So if I do that, then you'll see it starts filtering anything with CH. And then I can go back down here and click again if I wanted, go back up here and type again if I wanted. And you can use a combination of both or you can just use this straight across. Now we'll go back, just do a new vehicle. You can still enter the VIN in here. You can either enter up here in the smart search bar or you can click on this VIN icon. And again, it requires all 17 characters of the VIN to do that. So from here, we do also have the drop down of the previous vehicles. We call it My Vehicles. Difference being, this will show the last 20 vehicles you looked up instead of 13. And you can also favorite the vehicles and it'll save them forever. You just click the star and it'll add it over here in your favorite vehicles. And then favorite vehicles, you can also reorder. You can just grab it, drag it up. And then we also have the license plate lookup, the same as the old one, except for this one's a little different also, because in Smart Search, I could go up here, type in my two characters for the state of the license plate, and then the plate, and you'll see Michigan license plate lookup. And then there's the same vehicle now you can search for. Or you can go to the plate icon, and it will automatically populate the state you're in, Instead of the last one where you had to select the state you were in, you just enter the license plate here. And there's your vehicle. And then the last way you can find vehicles in the current user interface is in Smart Search. Now this is a search engine like search. So if I was to type in 2013 Chevrolet Silverado, you'll see here it's populating my Silverados and you can keep typing for the 1500, the engine, whatever you want to do at that point. Or you can just do this, like 13 SIL, and there's my 13 Chevy Silverado right there just off these few characters. And I can also put the engine in at this point if I wanted. And you can also look up parts, and again we'll cover that in a different video. So that's all the ways you can see there's way more ways to find a vehicle in the current user interface than there is in the classic. And the initial one it's very close to being the same as in the classic catalog by clicking the year make model engines. But that's not always the quickest way to do things as you saw. You can use smart search, which is normally quicker. And plus you can look up a part at the same time, which again, I'll cover later. So there's a lot more options. It's a lot faster, a lot more user friendly, I believe. And I hope you find it more user friendly also once you get used to using it. Thank you for watching this eBit and I'll see you next time.